these images are forever in the memory of our nation but the story of demonetization is not just long lines before banks from kashmir to kanyakumari lakhs had to shut shop the bicycle industry in ludhiana the brass crafters of moradabad diamond cutters of surat the micro and small scale industries were devastated in the new cashless india there were no buyers no raw materials and no money for the workers the workforce went back to villages making things even worse statistically it was 60% loss of jobs and a 47% dip in revenue for small scale industries in 2017 most of them belonged in the informal sector they were heavily cash dependent and the msmes uh, already suffer from a huge problem of delayed payments so they don't receive payments from their uh, from their buyers often for you know in particularly in business to business trans- transactions for 3 months or so and then demonetization happens and the economy doesn't have any currency any uh, currency to work with for months thereafter to also to add to this it was on 8th november as we know uh, you know the months of november and you know they they follow a festive route and then marriages often mm. happen in that uh, season right that whole mm. uh, period yeah. so a lot of demand that was expected so there was a lot of expected demand at that point of time for many of these enterprises and all of them were in cash all of all of them were supposed to be in cash historically have been in cash so suddenly all of that just vanishes meanwhile big companies fared better with access to cashless transactions banks and better understanding of digital money they recovered faster and they won hands down against the informal sector street vendors artisans tiny production units everything small were pushed to the margins it's not easy to transform to a digital economy overnight so you know those uh, which already had those uh, you know those sale counters and everything you know with digital payments facilitated they could survive much better many of us you know shifted to uh, bigger grocery stores where you could just use your cash cards and you know your credit cards whereas the small you you were literally counting your pennies at home because you know you did not have enough cash to go into this mode so most of the informal economy which did not have a system to receive uh, or pay in either ways you know came to a complete standstill and it facilitated bigger businesses in a certain way and handicapped the already vulnerable that's just what happened you know honorable rashtrapati ji and the prime minister so and other dignitaries to come up and press the button and officially launch the gst then came the gst regime things went from bad to worse those who never heard of tax filings now had to file three returns per month half of them in many sectors had never filed taxes and that is not because they were illegal businesses or they had black money they were just not needed to their products were not taxed in that way you know and then suddenly or they paid an annual tax on their income or whatever and now suddenly you had this 36 37 filings in a year so the compliance cost suddenly increased and it was not just the compliance cost it was a compliance mechanism which changed which really uh, shook the fabric of the msme sector and particularly the micro enterprises you know again the big ones survived better they already had accountants and cas in place they already had a digital infrastructure in place and now it's pandemic time it seems like a deadly blow once 52% of the gdp The informal economy has shrunk to 20%. Thanks to GST, demonetization and digitization, says SBI's recent study report. Good for some, not good for many. अनौपचारिक क्षेत्र का जो व्यापक हिस्सा है बहुत बड़ा हिस्सा है वो छोटे उद्यमियों का हिस्सा है जिनको आप एकाएक औपचारिक क्षेत्र में नहीं ला सकते हैं क्योंकि उनका कारोबार जो है उसका उनको उसका चरित्र अलग है तो उनको अगर उनको उन, उनको जैसे जीएसटी है तो जीएसटी ने बढ़ावा दिया औपचारिक क्षेत्र को जो सप्लाई चेन में के अंत में जो छोटे उद्यमी थे उनको उन्होंने उस सप्लाई चेन के बाहर कर दिया 
तो उसको बाहर करने से उद्यमी तो लागत नहीं उठा सकते हैं औपचारिक क्षेत्र में एकाएक आने की जो छोटे उद्यमी हैं तो उनको तो नुकसान ही है और नुकसान वो उठा रहे हैं आप आईलो के डॉक्यूमेंट्स को पढ़ें कहीं भी पढ़ें तो ये फोर्स फॉर्मलाइजेशन के के कोई भी नीतिगत तौर से कहीं भी इसका समर्थन नहीं होता है भारत में इसका कदम उठाया गया और भारत में जानबूझ के कदम उठाए गए बड़े उद्यमियों को फायदा उठाने के लिए फायदा पहुंचाने के लिए द प्लाइट ऑफ द पुअर कंटिन्यूस फ्रॉम बैड टू वर्स्ट टू दर्स्ट